It's fun, isn't it? Just like old times back in London. When was that? 42? 43? I prefer not to think about it. Come on, Helen. Every major spy agency in the world was looking for me. I needed your help. And besides, what's a fake death among friends? Whose harebrained notion was to supply every allied government with plans for your death ray weapon? Well, I thought they'd all share and that peace would break out. I did. I had my Nobel speech all memorized. The sector's clear. Let's move on. How did you know the Cabal were after me? I watched them and they watched me. We've had a few entanglements over the years, but, you know, I've never done anything so stupid as to actually steal from them. I've had my contacts keeping near to the ground for any cabal movement since they attacked my sanctuary. <laughs> I would have known beforehand if they were going to make a move on me here. In fact, they didn't show up until after you arrived. They're not after me, are they? They want you. You haven't lost your touch either. Okay, you can come out and gloat now if you want. I'm awake. There'll be no gloating. I find that extremely ill-mannered. Well, what's your next move, then? Are you going to teleport me to the top of the Eiffel Tower and leave me hanging by my underpants? <laughs> or are you going to make it fast? Neither. Then what the hell do you want from me? Honestly, I need your help. You have a kind of violent way of asking for help, FYI. I wish you no harm. But it was urgent that we speak. And I'm listening. Let the insanity fly. And of course, that's what you'd think of me. That I'm unstable, deranged. That's pretty much what I call everybody who feeds me to lizard creatures. But I can be a bit harsh sometimes. Actually, what happened before was deeply regrettable. I apologize for my actions without reservation. I can only ask for your forgiveness. There are things you need to know about your mother. She's in grave danger. Dude, she's my mom. She's always in grave danger. Please, Ashley, there's little time. I need to know where she is. Me handcuffed to a chair. You babbling about time and danger. No. I don't see why I should help you. I would like nothing more than to free you. But you would undoubtedly try to kill me. Me? Did your mother not give you some sort of explanation as to who I was? She told me you were someone from her days back in London before she set up shop here. Oh, oh, and that she was pretty sure you'd never return because she killed you. Trust me, I'll be speaking to her about that. Talk about a blown call. You don't have time for this. My sole purpose in bringing you here is for your own benefit as well as hers. You'll have to trust me. You've always been reckless. You contacted me directly while the cabal was following you. Oh, I know. It's not one of my best ideas, but here, I had no choice. I needed to see you. And use the proper channels. Contact one of my facilities and have them arrange a secure location. Would you rather have me endanger one of your sanctuaries or just you? Oh, neither. Nicola, you dropped out of sight before the end of World War II. Never to be seen or heard from again. Well, I did die a lonely, impoverished, pitiful old man. Thanks for the funeral, by the way. I heard it was quite nice. I faked your death to save your life so that your work could continue. I think I'm owed an explanation as to your whereabouts since then. Hey, perfecting the use of electricity and radio waves? Hard acts to follow, okay? But I have kept busy at Oxford all those years ago. What we did was more than just pushing boundaries. For me, it was personal. As it was for all of us. <laughs> you all changed. Whereas I found out who I really am. And the more I embrace that, the more I realize just how little I've accomplished. Your gifts to the world will live on long after you die. Whenever you actually die. You think you can call this existence living? The Cabal hunt me at every turn. But why? You've been underground for decades. We both know the Cabal only go after what they perceive to be of value. Or a threat. Pull our people back. 
these guys out of here. I want the LRAD down here and set up in three minutes. Yes, sir. Another one? It's the second attack in two hours. I never saw what it was. It came from the ceiling. Oh, move way too fast. What about uh, him? Did he see anything? No. I was... Oh. I was... He was meditating when it happened. If it's in the elevator system. Yeah, they can get to anywhere in the sanctuary. All right, let's get into the infirmary, and then we'll meet up at Henry's lab. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Footage of the first two attacks came up empty, likely because whatever it is shorted out the power to the surveillance systems before it struck. Yeah, but we should have caught something in the camera in the elevator. Yeah, having a look. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, it's just a flu going around. I'm fine. Wow. Whatever it is, it's damn fast. Uh, can you slow it down and enhance the image? Take the safety off first. I'm fine. I'm... You have fever. You should rest. No, I can hack it. No, no, maybe the big guy's right. You should get some rest. <coughs> but listen, before you go, um, can you bring up the footage of the corridors above and below where they attacked the place? Let him rest. He'll work later. Okay. Well, uh, just show me how to access the footage and He's I'll... He's going uh... to rest now. Okay. Get better. Why would the Cabal see you as a threat? I'm a vampire. Some people are threatened by that. Only part, Nicola. Pure blood vampires were wiped out centuries ago. Besides, you alone are not enough to make the Cabal this angry. What's really going on? The Ancient Ones. They were intelligent, gifted, powerful. Until a bunch of church folk decided that our race was impure. Evil. And not only did they hunt them down, kill them off, but they turned our species into a cultural joke. Ancient vampires were the Caesars, the pharaohs of civilization. Humans were enslaved. They rose up with good reason. If the world knew the truth... Humans were conquered because we were smarter and stronger. And when vampires ruled the world, it was a golden age. Science, art, architecture, all advanced. And after they killed them off, what happened? The Dark Ages. And now people think that we're allergic to garlic and that we can turn into bats at will. It's beyond insulting. This way. Sir, all teams have been pulled back. Good. Let's clean them out. vial of stale water blessed by some priest would have any other effect than a bad taste in my... Earthquake. Of course. 